Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with a video that will cause a lot of you guys to yell at me. The title says it all. These are book series that I am ashamed I haven't finished yet. And half of them I really don't have an excuse for not finishing. I am so ashamed that I have not yet finished the series and that is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. I have all the books. I have even The Raven King which is like the latest released one. And I have read the first two so I have read The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves but I have tried to read Blue Lily Lily Blue twice and every time I try I just some reason put it down and then don't pick it back up but everyone is talking about how amazing this series is and I already know so many spoilers for The Raven King and I just know that I need to read it but why haven't I? What what are you what am I doing? Hello, what are you thinking up there? This next series, well, trilogy that I'm now looking at, I've only just realized that with every book that goes on, it's actually gotten smaller. And I haven't actually heard much feedback or reviews from the ending to this trilogy, so maybe that's why I haven't finished it, but either way, I am ashamed. I have not yet finished The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I read The Infinite Sea, which I had a very mixed review on. I liked it and didn't like it. It didn't even feel like it was part of the fifth wave trilogy to be honest. And as for The Last Star, I completely forgot about it until I was looking at my shelves. But like look how much smaller it is than the fifth wave. Like that's crazy. How is anyone supposed to finish a trilogy in such a small book? I loved this next book so I'm not entirely sure why I've never finished it and I'm fairly certain that the last book in the trilogy just came out so now would be like the perfect time to start reading it and that one is The Younger Leads by Mary Lou and I fell in love with Mary Lou from the Legend trilogy and I fell in love with it even more when I read this book because it is like exactly the kind of book that I love. I just don't understand what I was thinking. Why wouldn't I continue reading this? I am so ashamed. Shame. I am ashamed that I have not finished the Starbound trilogy. I have read the first two books, but I have not yet read The Fractured Light, and I don't know why. Like, I've owned it. I've had this book since it was released, and it's just been sitting on my shelf collecting dust, and I don't know why. These books are just so, so stunning, and... I don't know why I just haven't finished it. Like it's just one book and then I can say I've finished it so why? For this next trilogy I just don't want it to end and like I have heard the major spoilers from what happens in this book and if I don't read it it doesn't mean it's happened and it isn't real so I will continue to be ignorant for the rest of my life and that is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken and the book that I have not read is In the Afterlight. Character deaths. I don't fully understand how I can become so attached to a character and allow my heart to literally be torn out my chest and stood on and trampled and completely broken by a fictional person. And yet it happens over and over and over again. And I can't do that. Not in this book, not in this trilogy. It's not happening, I won't allow it. Granted with this next book, I have only recently just bought the books and I have tried twice already to go into the second book, but for some reason my mind just thinks of doing other things. And that is a series of unfortunate events. I read the first book like literally a few weeks ago and I loved it. I loved everything about it. And then I just never really settled down on that second book. I just, I just, I'm just so ashamed, you know? I'll get there though because I loved it. It was so much fun and... Uh, I will do it. I will. You know, I'm not going to make this video in six months or a year's time and, and have that on that list. That is my challenge. It will not be on there. Second last, and these are both trilogies as well, and they both have been unfinished, obviously, and I am quite ashamed. Next up, we have Graceling by Kristen Kayshaw, and even worse, I have only read the first one out of this trilogy. And I don't know why, because I really enjoyed Graceling, and Fire and Bitter Blue both sound like they're going to be books that I will also really enjoy and I've heard good things about them. And yet, and yet guys, surprise, surprise, I haven't read them. And for the last one, it is a book that was one of my highest anticipated reads and for some reason I decided to put that book straight onto my TBR shelf and ignore it for, for a very long time. And that one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I have read Hollow City, but I have not read Library of Souls because I am a terrible reader and don't know how to let my eyes roam across a page of words until there is no pages left to read. What can I say? I'm a terrible reader.
The worst part about all of those book series is that it is just like one book that I need to read to complete it. And I can't do that. I think I have commitment issues. Well, thank you guys for watching and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will hopefully see you guys again soon. And until then, I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. I'm going to show you guys a pile of books that I hate. Hate might be a strong word. A lot of these I just dislike or don't really care about at all.